Hey all, welcome to Shattrek. This is Raj here. End of the day, uh, end of the week. And um, I'm really happy to share with you the things that I really noticed this week. These are the only things that I re that registered in my mind uh, throughout the week. Uh, first, the AI stocks did spectacular and I think we are on the uh, new bull run. And secondly, I think um, I'm really happy to see CRISPR Therapeutics hanging in there above $1.80 at the end of the week. Not too shabby at all in my books. We just finished puking after the Ginkgo Bioworks 2023 earnings, but money is still getting into the, their sector. Potentially, this could create more competition. And that's because the WHO just launched a new program to fight outbreaks faster, especially in developing countries. They got some big donors like the Gates Foundation to chip in $4 million to get things going. Of course, $4 million is not that big when you look at a global scale, but it's still not chump change. Uh, basically, they are giving money to different organizations to test out new ways to track diseases at a microscopic level by looking at their genetic code. Imagine it like fingerprinting a virus. This will help us understand how contagious they are, uh, how they spread, and ultimately how to stop them quicker. Something similar to what um, Ginkgo Bioworks is doing with Concentric. Uh, it's pretty exciting because if this works well, it could be a game changer for preventing future outbreaks and keeping everyone healthier, especially because WHO is uh, taking a special interest in this. But at the same time, if you look at Ginkgo Biowork, they have the early starter advantage. And uh, I hope uh, they don't end up garnering a lot of competition, which is fed by money coming from WHO. You know, like the saying goes, knowledge is power. And this new program is all about getting the upper hand on nasty diseases. And there are going to be competitors across the globe. And if you recollect, in a few of my earlier videos, I had touched upon the theme of pricing expensive gene therapies and also spoke about how the Inflation Reduction Act has reduced the price of insulin to $35. The discussion was more about whether $35 is going to be feasible for the industry, whether there'll be enough margins. Uh, of course, insulin is a, uh, an enzyme which has been found uh, discovered a long time ago. I think uh, money has already been made on insulin. But the philosophical question was, at what point of return will money stop getting into the pharma industry to create new drugs? So uh, I, you can always check my old video in which I spoke about pricing philosophy for expensive therapies like gene therapies. Now, coming to the point for today, we have more news about government wanting to negotiate drug prices with Medicare. There has been a court case about it. And guess what? The judge shut down a challenge from AstraZeneca. Uh, District Judge Colm Conley of the District of Delaware said AstraZeneca has not identified a property protected by the Constitution that will be jeopardized by the price talks. This is a big win for the government because it means they can move forward with these price talks and the goal is to make medications more affordable for seniors on Medicare, uh, which is, I think, a big deal for seniors on Medicare because they get the benefit. And drug companies, however, aren't happy because it could mean lower profits for them. AstraZeneca argued that government forcing them to negotiate is unconstitutional. They said it's like uh, taking their property without fair compensation. But the judge said no. They pointed out that drug companies choose to sell to Medicare, it's not mandatory. Plus, having access to millions of potential customers through Medicare is a pretty good incentive to negotiate, according to the judge, which I think is a uh, bang on point. I agree with that. This is just one battle in a bigger war, though. Other drug companies have also sued, and some are even appealing to the Supreme Court. The fight's not over yet, but this judge's decision is a good sign for the government's plan to bring down drug prices. I know you're going to say, Raj, we are investors and we need returns. That is true. I acknowledge that. But just like the judge said to the pharma companies that they choose to sell because there are so many patients under the government's care, I would say that based on your risk appetite and desire for returns, you may lose the interest in genomics and pharma and move to where your money makes more money. And this is a free market with demand and supply chasing each other. When money dries up in pharma and genomics, the government will be forced to come in with uh, tax swaps or other encouragements to lure capital back into the sector. We just have to live through this. This is why we have sectoral rotation. Well, that was my thoughts on news developments uh, during this week. Please let me know what was the major news that registered in your mind while you were going about your busy week. I would be very keen to hear that and see what I missed. Please put that in the comments. 
Take care. Have a great day. Bye for now.